Space Dare to Dream is the next exhibit slated for the Gail Borden Public Library. And it's actually going to be a fundraiser for what will be the new West Side branch of the library. As we check in with the president of the Gail Borden Public Library Foundation, Marlene Shales, with the details of Preview Night. We're celebrating launch the branch. The branch is the branch of the library, which will appear in the next year or two. And the library, we have the money for the building, but we need to make money for the books. And that's why we are charging you to come to our celebration. And we're charging you the, the cost of a book. If you feel more generous, you can give us the cost of two or three or four or a hundred books. But that's what we're celebrating. We're having uh, food, not supper, but some dessert, a dessert bar. You will love that. You can partake of the dessert bar and visit exhibits and meet with old friends. Um, it's going to be a wonderful celebration, and we hope you come. We're excited about the, the night that Marlene just talked about. It's our special preview night, and what is going to be so special about that night, different from our Giants, another major exhibit we had in 2005, is this is going to be the first time we're going to light up the Space Dare to Dream exhibit. Uh, it's going to be fabulous. The Grand Victoria Foundation was so good to provide the funding for this ed educational extravaganza once again. And on June 1, the date that Marlene just talked about, it's going to be the first time we light it up for everyone to see. So please join us. And again, it's a great event for fundraising for our branch. You can read about it in our newsletter that's in homes right now. Uh, and you can buy your tickets in the library on the second floor at the information desk and on the first floor at the checkout counter. Space Dare to Dream. It's a fantastic space exhibit that is coming to us from the Detroit Science Center. This is being brought to us locally by the Grand Victoria Foundation. Thank you very much to the foundation. Uh, it was also uh, created in collaboration with NASA, with General Motors, and Lockheed Martin. The main components, which you will find in the library starting June 1st, are a Saturn V quarter panel replica in the rotunda. We will have the night skies rising up in the uh, second floor at the youth area, and that's called our Forest of Dreams. We will have a Stonehenge type exhibit where we will, it's called Ancient Cosmology, that will also be on the second floor. That will be where we will learn about how the ancient people use the night skies. We will have Galileo's studio in the youth department, which will be a just a wonderful place for people to learn about how we discovered that the Earth is not the middle uh, is not the middle of the universe. Uh, tremendous amount of wonderful stuff that's coming as our main pieces from uh, Evergreen Exhibition, but we're also going to be adding components from NASA. Uh, from SciTech, from Adler. We're working with a number of partners to make this the fullest experience regarding space that, that one can have in this summer, so be there. It will also complement and really energize our summer reading program, which is Mission Read. And with that, Carol Skelton, the Youth Services Librarian, donned in her space garb, communicated to us the concept of this great program. I am here to talk about our summer reading program, which is coming up very soon. Registration for it begins the last Wednesday of May, May 30th, and uh, the program runs from then through Saturday, August 11th, and we have programs for all ages. Um, out of the Youth Services Department, we have three levels of programs. We have one for preschool, which is birth through kindergarten, and then we have a program for the elementary age kids, first grade through uh, sixth grade and then we also have a young adult program for kids that are going into seventh eighth or ninth grade and then adult services also has a program that obviously adults or anybody over um, 16 or so can uh, sign up for that one for more information about these events you can go to the library's website at www.gailborden.info also of note Sunday May 27th and Monday May 28th the Gail Borden Public Library will be closed in observance of Memorial Day.